Hi everybody. Damn, this hair is not as fucking atrocious. Leave it. I'm nervous as as always. This is the pre-fight nerves. They always come, but I always seem to be okay after that. Before after the fact, I always I'm not fighting the strongest fighter. Um. I'm always semi like you know my boxing is good. I'll be fine. I know that in my heart. I do a lot of visualizations, a lot of meditations. I did 39 minutes of meditation, which is quite intense. It doesn't feel real, but I did do 39 minutes of meditation. Three minutes of 10 minutes, three sets of 10 minutes, three sets of three minutes. That's for 39 minutes. I think we might hit my hour of meditation. Goal today. I haven't even made my habit tracker yet. So that's an L and E. Because I've just been procrastinating on it. I'd say, oh yeah, I haven't got around to doing it, but in actuality, it's more so procrastination. Um, I always meditate a fuck ton before sparring. I always feel the, the nerves before sparring. The power footage will be on on youtube by tonight hope you guys will enjoy it don't judge me okay it's like my sixth seventh spar roughly around that mark i don't i don't remember exactly i don't count anymore oh, i'm so cool i don't count anymore um i have to take boxing more seriously i mean i had a thought growth in my mind i have to take boxing more seriously boxing is not just boxing it's a way out it's a business it's a way to make money put food on the table You know, the, uh, ra it's not likely, but the random average Joe you see out there could potentially be the next Floyd Mayweather if only he puts in that hard work and dedication. Do they put in that hard work and dedication though? They don't. At first sight of nerves, at first sight of, of tension, of, of hardship, of confrontation, they freeze up and they don't do it. Plenty of people within my gym, they don't want to spar because X reason, because I don't have a mouth guard, because I think it's Haram, Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, to Devin Haney, Devin Haney Muslim, that's just to name a few, um, there's much more great Muslim fighters as well, Khabib Nurmagomedov, Islam Makachev, well, I don't think, I don't think it's like Hamza Shamayev, they don't stop coming, right? Pause. They don't stop coming. For the most part, it isn't like fighting. It isn't a competition. It isn't with the intention to kill. It's the intention to learn and grow. And you know, we're all nervous. We're trying to. We're trying to. We're all, we're all scared. We're all feeling that fear. We're just trying to, you know, grow about our lives, challenge ourselves, get in that ring, fight. I visualize like my potential opponents and I, I feel quite easy in the beginning and then I visualize harder opponents, harder opponents, harder opponents and I, I still feel pretty okay, it's just, I don't know, it's the fear, I can't pinpoint a reason why I feel this way. You know, chat GPT, I ask chat GPT for advice, I ask Google for advice, it says pinpoint a reason why you feel nervous, you feel the nerves. I can't find a reason, there is no particular reason in my heart. I don't want to go. I don't want to go. Every inch of my body is screaming at me not to go. What do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wear my I'm gonna wear my headphones. I'm gonna wear my my hoodie and my sweatpants. My my air forces. I'm gonna put my water in my bag, filling it up. And I'm gonna go. Whether I get my ass whooped or I do exceptionally well, only God knows. But I know deep down in my heart, I think I will do well. Everyone tells me, oh, you're a good boxer, you're a good boxer, you're a boxer. Like, um, no flaws in the bag. I look good in the bag, I look good in the pads. No, I don't look good in the pads. I look good in skipping, I look good in this, I look good in that. I look good in other, I always farm bridge as well. But the nerve is still there. I pinpoint, like, I fought my friend. Like, just like a friendly spar in the park. Boxing. Um, a few days ago, not a few days ago, like, um, a good, um, almost a month ago now, it was on, 
the 11th of July, 12th of July. I felt so many, so much nerves, anxious nervousness beforehand, but then I, I'm there, I'm being his ass. And I just feel bad. And it's like, it's whatever, and I go home, and I feel chill. Same with last week. Same with weeks before. And it's coming kind of again, annoying at this point, feeling these nerves. I mean, I'm kind of getting, I'm fucking a bit agitated by it. Just a little bit. Why am I nervous? What am I nervous for? For what reason? I've been through this rodeo. It's not my first rodeo. I've been through this rodeo multiple, multiple times. It's just, I still feel it. You know? So I think, um, within one year, you can get 52 spars. Because there's 52 weeks in a year. I spar once a week, 52 um, spars. I can go crazy and spar twice a week, go 104 spars, but I would like to keep my brain, thank you very much, and I would want to do just one spar a week for the rest of the week, healing, working, doing other things, because when, when you have something like sparring, it takes so much of your time and energy, your mental capacity, it's kind of annoying. Um, the worst case scenario, I get knocked out, I get dropped, has it happened yet? No. I faced some pretty high level competition as well. Some dude with like some killer liver shots. Really hurt me in the liver, but I still I firmly threw. And I worked that ass, I rocked him a few times. This boxing game, it's all a mental game. It's all all a more mental game. I wish I could sleep in the gym. I'd be in a better spot. It's not my bed in there, put my mattress on the floor somewhere there. <laughs> sleep there instead, shower there as well. Really get into a fight cat mode, right? I really should do that. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Watch me spar. Wish me luck at sparring. Peace.